Hey everybody, we're back. Just gonna put your hand right in that cup of resin. <laughs> oh, I'm going to before it goes. <laughs> I had uh, one guy on the comments, Dad, say, I must be German for all the engineering. <laughs> and you guys know what? My mother was full-blooded German. Dad's yeah. not. She was a Winholtz. Yeah. My mother's maiden name was Winholtz. My grandpa's name was Ferdinand. Her mother... Her her mother's name, uh, maiden name was Liker. So she was oh, pretty Grandma. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, her Grandma's maiden name was Liker. Grandpa was Ferdinand. My Grandma's name was Albertine. Albertine Winholz. I'll tell you what, all the time I was growing up, I'll tell you what, them Germans know how to party. <laughs> yeah, they do. My Uncle Hubert used to play the harmonica. My grandpa, he kept his he kept his beer on the back porch. And uh, and the only time he would get drunk was on Friday night. That was it, remember that dad? Uh-huh. But Friday night he would get hammered. And uh, he used to sing God Bless America in German. <laughs> I'll never forget that. That's do, 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 but it's <laughs> I don't know, remember the rest of it, but he was quite the guy. But I remember that part. So yes, I do have some German roots. My old dad, he's he's kind of Irish, Scotch Irish. Little, little this, little that.
Actually, our family come from the moors of uh, England. But uh, my mother was Farnsworth. She was Irish. Well, some of you guys over there in Germany's heard me talk about Grandpa and kept his beer on the back porch, and that probably don't sound strange to you. <laughs> but I don't know. We're kind of soft nowadays. People like their beer cold. He made some whiskey one time. Made him up a little still. Used aluminum pipe, which is a no-no. Cause it'll poison you. We all got poisoned. Got sick. <laughs> you guys drank it? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. that good flavor to it. He used to make that wine all the time. I know that. All right, people. We're just making conversation, so this ain't so. This ain't so boring. But there it is. <coughs> Let's say a glass of airplane right there, people. <coughs> there ain't much to it. If you just follow, you know, the way I described it. You know, this oak's a little different from regular balsa wood. But uh, if you guys do it like I showed you on them gear doors, uh, you'll really love your outcome on it. I mean, it took me years to refine that message. We just... We just battled pinholes forever, you know, and three or four coats of primer and, you know, and spot putty and, you know, that primer is expensive. And uh, the least you can use, the better off you are. You know, this jug, this epoxy, a couple of people mentioned, you know, it's kind of expensive. It was like 16 bucks for that unit. But uh, primer is $100 a gallon, people. So even if we took a whole unit, you know, which that, it's probably close. That was to glass both sides of this. So we're talking 20 bucks, you know. That's not bad at all. It's a pretty good size airplane. But most of your fifth scale P51s and stuff like that, one jug's enough. And I sure like that stuff. z -poxy is the stuff to get. But we're going to let that set up. I'm going to go get me a hamburger. Oh, I'm hungry. My back is killing me. I'm gonna take you, take me some leave. I'm gonna get me a bugger. Then this evening, I'm gonna get my wing set out under my bench. And it's been a while since I molded up that other wing. I didn't want to at the time. I didn't want to jump from one wing to the next because you guys have just seen it. So, but now it's been long enough where I'll show you the molding process one more time. I don't know if it's the information you guys are getting or just the fact you like listening to me talk. <laughs> but uh, there's your lesson for the day, folks. I'm going to keep plugging away. I sure like how them gear doors turned out and the color of all that. And that flat, clear, just worked awesome. And uh, I'm going to get there, keep trucking away on that while I'm working over here. And uh, we're running out of time, folks. Time's ticking. Tick, tick, tick. So I'm going to keep plugging away. I'm going to keep on making a bunch of movies. And uh, I'm going to be right here. Where at? Right here in the shop. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>